groundbreaking research coming out of the University of Minnesota for cleaning PFAS from groundwater. And this coming from the team that includes the professor who had discovered how widespread contamination of the chemicals are in our environment. Our So Young Kim sat down with him and joins us with more. So Young, the technology is not able to destroy the chemical, but it can capture a meaningful amount of it. That's right, and the team tells me what's also significant is this method of injecting the treatment material simplifies the process. Researchers credit a large team, including engineers at the University of Minnesota and Brown University for this discovery. The original work was funded through the Department of Defense to look for a way to capture PFAS chemicals underground. The chemical is found in many different products, ranging from residential to industrial to firefighting foams. University of Minnesota professor Professor Matt Simsick explains the method combines some earlier treatment techniques with an ultra-fine carbon material, which is essentially charcoal, that is injected underground. This breakthrough research is the first time testing it in the field in a real-world situation. We did was we um, drilled a well and we pushed our material out around the well, sort of creating like a filter, like a Brita filter, if you will, and then sucked the water back up in and it, it captured all of the, the PFAS. So um, it, was, it was nice to see that what we had done in the lab was actually what we saw in the field as well. And some of the highlights of the paper published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials include showing the method is viable in practical applications, that it's able to reduce PFAS concentration to below detection limits, and that it's cost effective, simplifying treatment by taking a lot less equipment and time. And the team says this represents a major step toward practical technologies that can protect drinking water and reduce long-term exposure risks. You can catch the Fox 9 documentary that dives deep into the impact of 3M and Forever Chemicals on Fox Local and Fox9.com. In the studio tonight, So Young Kim, Fox 9.